the street I'd seen years ago, but I could only dance by myself. One afternoon, while I was walking in our garden, I tripped over a sunflower, and suddenly, a splash of water hit my face. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you. I'm Samuel, the new driver. I looked up to see a gorgeous boy washing our cars with a garden hose, and he was shirtless. As he helped me up, I couldn't help wondering how hard his abs were. I stumbled on purpose, and my palms accidentally landed on his abs. Harder than a rock. Uh, Ma'am, are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Without another word, I ran off to my room. A few hours later, I was dancing away when I caught Samuel watching me through the window. How long have you been standing there? You dropped your necklace. I, I just came to return it. But you were so great, I was mesmerized. I swear his compliment had my stomach break dancing. I started hanging out with him after that day, and it felt good to have a friend who knew my little secret. But the universe kept teasing me. Aaron started dancing on TikTok and got one million followers in a week. Samuel kept encouraging me to make my own account. I bet you're going to have a million followers in just one day. My dad won't like it. He doesn't get me. But from then on, I started filming myself whenever I danced in my room. Maybe someday dad would come around. One evening, dad took me to a company dinner and officially introduced me as the future CEO. Everyone raised a toast to it, but it just didn't feel right. As I made my way to the front for a speech, my dress got caught on something and ripped, exposing my underwear. Everyone in the room started laughing quietly, and I could see Dad's furious face. I ran out as fast as I could to the car. Samuel looked at my tear-stained face with concern. Are you okay, ma'am? I'm sure lots of people think I have the perfect life as a rich heiress, but I want things that money can't buy. I want to do what I love. I want to make my parents proud, and I just want to be normal. To make me feel better, Samuel took me to a dance club. I closed my eyes and just started dancing. Minutes later, I'd forgotten everything because I was in my happy place. When I opened my eyes, I saw Samuel looking at me and my heartbeat raced. Ma'am, you're a goddess. I could watch you all day. Suddenly, I pulled him in close. It's not ma'am, it's Cleo. Just then, I got a call from my dad yelling at me to come home immediately. Your behavior is unacceptable, but I'll forgive you on one condition. Date the son of my biggest investor. At least for six months. I thought about Samuel, but I knew Dad wasn't really giving me a choice. So I agreed. The next day when he introduced me to his investor son, my jaw dropped open. Hudson? Baby cakes. Did you know about this? Duh. I've always known who you are. You're not just hot. Your parents are as rich as mine. That very night, I was invited to dinner by his parents, and Dad had a list of instructions for me. Don't disappoint them, or else I'm going to lose billions. Think before you even breathe, Cleo. And no cursing. They hate that. Unfortunately, thinking wasn't going to help. Hudson had the scariest parents in the world. They were watching my every move. It was so nerve-wracking. I got clumsier by the second. I kept dropping my fork, and when I tried to pass his mom the water, the jug slipped from my hand. But then the unthinkable happened. I dropped some soup on my dress and excused myself for the bathroom. As soon as I got up, I hit my pinky toe on the edge of the table. Holy piece of stupid shit! They looked at me like I'd just killed their whole neighborhood. I was sure Hudson wouldn't want anything to do with me after that dinner, but Dad would be raging mad when he found out. But I actually didn't care. The next day at school, I was really surprised when Hudson walked over to me and put his arm around my waist. Baby cakes? I don't care if my parents think you're a stupid klutz. You're too beautiful for anyone else. I have a grand gift to make you feel better. He pushed a bunch of car keys into my hand. 20 sports cars for you, babe. 20 freaking cars? But I didn't even know how to drive. He gave the stupidest gifts ever. Just then, he kissed me and I pushed him away. I'm sorry, Hudson, but I can't force myself to like you. I like someone else. Also, you're really obnoxious. And with that, I threw the car keys at him and walked away. Of course, Hudson's parents backed out from the deal, and Dad went psycho. I told him what a jerk Hudson was, but he didn't care. So, your mom married me, didn't she? It's actually because of that poor driver, isn't it? Well, I sent him back to his country and I told him to stay away from you, if he knows what's good for him. I was shocked, and then... 
I was furious. That's it. Keep your stupid house and your stupid company to your stupid self. I'm not giving up on anything for you now. How dare you talk to me like that? She's right. I'm not watching you bully her anymore either. Dad immediately kicked us both out of his mansion and cut off all our allowances. But Mom wasn't sorry at all and said she'd rather be poor than with him. We moved to my late grandparents' house. Luckily, I still had the horse and iPhones Hudson gave me, and I sold them all off to give us a head start. And I made my own account and uploaded my saved videos. To my surprise, I got 2 million followers over the weekend. Erin was smoking red. Next day at school, she came to me and said, How is this possible? I can twerk and throw it back? Better than you. I guess my followers just disagree with you, Erin. Fine, let's dance to the same song. And whoever has more likes in one hour wins. Loser pays $50,000 and drops out of school. Challenge accepted. We did the dance and I won by 100,000 likes. Erin's account was suddenly deleted and I never saw her again. Mom encouraged me to do more videos and I reached 20 million followers in just four months. She also started joining me and I was mind blown by her moves. So that's where I got my talent. Two years Years later, we started a dance studio where I taught little kids how to dance and to chase their dreams. And this seemed just right. But there was something missing from my life. Until one day, a handsome guy entered my studio, and when he took off his shades, I swear I almost fainted. Can I get an autograph? I can give you more than that, Samuel. We went out and sparks flew. Sam was charming, kind, and simple. Even my mom loved him. We started dating and even danced together for some videos. My fans went crazy when we finally got married, and they adored the heck out of our clumsy baby boy. I'm not